Tunis, capital of Tunisia, the political, commercial and cultural center of the country, the Paris of North Africa, a metropolis with a long history. The center of the city is the Medina, the Arabic old town. Surrounded by the market streets of the souks, towers the large mosque of El Zituna. Apart from the city Okba of Kairouan, this noble building is the most important religious sanctuary in Tunisia. In 732 AD, a small mosque was built here. Then subsequently, a larger Friday mosque. Between the 13th and 15th centuries, it was transformed into a high school complex. The striking arcades in the four-cornered courtyard are supported by richly decorated marble and granite pillars that originate from Roman Carthage. Covered with fine pottery, the 44-metre-high minaret, the top of which was completed in 1834, rises above the mosque and can be seen from each corner of the city. The central market quarter dates back to the Hafsidic and early Christian period. Here, there's something for everyone, many of the goods being skillfully crafted under the watchful eye of prospective purchasers. There was already a settlement in Tunis when in 814 BC the Phoenicians established Carthage. In 984 BC the Aghlabiden made it their capital city. Tunis was at its zenith during the Hafsiden period. In 1534, the Turkish corsair Her ed-Din invaded, and then a year later, Karl V conquered the city. The leisurely ambience of the Moorish coffee houses still exists today. The tall octagonal minaret of the Sidi Yusef Mosque is the earliest Syriac building in Tunisia. Next to the mosque are the securely guarded government buildings. The new building complexes incorporate the architectural styles of the old town. Returning to the labyrinth of souks, there is a tiny square with red-green pillars. A former slave market in which human captives were sold for profit. For several years, Tunis was at the mercy of the Osman and Spanish Habsburg rulers. Then followed Turkish dominion, in spite of it being a French protectorate. Following independence in 1956, Tunis was transformed, but the intriguing picturesque alleys of the old town have maintained their irresistible Arabian charm. The Mosque al qsa is one of many mosques in the old town. Although Islamic belief here strictly adheres to the Quran, it is not fanatical. Today, the blacksmiths still work with an open fire and with the most basic tools create an amazing variety of ironware.
Dar Ben Abdallah is a splendid palace building that dates back to the 18th century and since 1975 has incorporated a folklore museum that is well worth a visit. A large cool courtyard is dominated by a central marble fountain. It is surrounded by both residential and official rooms that cannot be seen from the main entrance. The lavish lifestyle of the 19th century is on full display in numerous rooms. Precious furniture and crystal chandeliers, as well as beautifully clothed life-size dolls. And there's even a fully equipped traditional kitchen that has been reinstated to its original splendour. The 18th century mausoleum of Turbet El Bey contains the tombs of the Husseini Den dynasty. Its stucco walls and marble pillars highlight the influence of Italian Renaissance. The building dates back to the Osman Dominion at the end of the 18th century and accommodates the regents, their wives and important ministers. The graves of the men are separated from those of the women. On the headstone of each grave there is a small marble pillar that is covered with a traditional turban. It is difficult for the uninitiated to find their way through the labyrinth of alleys of the old town. This seemingly confused city plan was created for both strategic and hierarchical reasons. In around 1600 AD, the Dar Othman Palace was the residence of Bey Othman. It contains a splendid portal and lavish courtyard in Arabic Moorish style. La Madersa Slimania is one of many religious schools that were established during the dominion of the Hafsiden. Tunis was the scientific and religious centre of the Maghreb, during which period spiritual life developed to a new height. Muslims believe that the Quran is proof that Muhammad was in direct line with Allah and that the original of the holy book is kept in heaven. The country's arts and crafts have an age-old tradition. Doors are given artistic mountings, and each aspect is given various motifs designed to keep away evil spirits. The former main gate of the old town is all that remains of the city wall, that the French almost completely demolished. But even today, the Medina of Tunis enchants all those who experience it. One of the oldest and most constantly populated areas of the Mediterranean that is as evocative as an oriental fairy tale. <laughs>